Hello everybody and welcome to the part number four I believe it is of our WordPress from start to finish tutorial. Today is going to be a lot of fun, not really. It is going to be the start of programming our theme. So to start off I have the style, the header, and the footer files opened. I also have this text document open with our information and then I also have an image of what the website looks like just so I can look back at it and see uh, what parts I need to add. So let's not waste time let's just jump right in because I'm sure I'll make a couple mistakes I apologize ahead of time for that but you'll learn from it. So right away you want to familiarize yourself a little bit with the files within this WordPress theme and if you look on the left side you can see there's quite a few of them <clears throat> you might get a little confused and a little afraid but don't worry it's pretty much if you watched any of my previous uh, website programming tutorials you might remember the PHP include statement and that's pretty much exactly what's going on here this theme is broke up into a header a footer and then the center parts of the website where like the posts would be at so I'm just starting off with header and footer for now and that is the absolute top of the website and then the absolute bottom of the website so with every website you always want to start with a wrapper to center your document so I'm going to do just that so I'm going to go div id equals page wrap and then I'm going to close that off and just cut this closing tag and click on over to this footer.php and right in the top here I'm going to just paste that in let's put a tab in there and then just give it a comment to say page wrap end just so we know and then we can save those and upload them and when I click on this left side here it's just uploading it to my server so I can preview the document alright so let's uh, go over to styles and I want to do a uh, ID of page wrap and give it a width of 960 pixels and margin zero auto and that's going to constrain the document to 960 pixels and then center it in the browser and now my next step I want to do is go to uh, above this and do body and give it a background color of let's see what it is 2929292929292929 very good save that and let's see is there anything else we can do let's just go with that for now and upload it and then pop open the browser and here you go let me close up firebug and you can see here that it is sized no styling done but uh, there it is let's go over to header let's take a look at this I think I'm gonna make this big box right here this big background green so inside of this is the navigation bar Let's pop this open and you see these right here the home about and welcome I believe that is the navigation bar this right here is just the name of the blog and the small caption underneath it we're not going to worry about any of that right now let's uh, minimize this and pop open finder window <clears throat> double click images and we want to get the dimensions for this header underscore home you can see what it looks like and it's 960 by 301 uh, we'll probably go with 300 because 301 will bother me so inside this page wrap you want to uh, let's click enter a little bit and let's give it a div ID is going to be I don't know header BG close that up and then at the bottom here paste it again give it a comment of header bg end 
slide all that in and then go over to your styles and let's see we're going to want header bg and then a background we want uh, url images slash let's just get this name correct header underscore home dot png header underscore home dot png no repeat zero zero go away uh, let's close that up and then we want to um, give a width of 960 pixels height 300 pixels save it upload and let's take a quick look at this see if it worked and it did not. Let's see what's going on. This is why I love Firebug. So you want to take a look at here. And header BG. It's not even seeing anything for it. Did we spell this correct? Header BG. Oh. Let's see. Header BG. Closed it. Styles. I don't know. Let's refresh again. Ah, there we go. I don't know what happened there. But as you can see, we have the image right here. So let's pop open this uh, preview again and see what's up here. Uh, did we make a separate image for this bottom line? Let's see. Header spacer. Yes, we did. I probably should have included that in the image, but um, I was dumb. Let's just go ahead and throw that on real quick. Uh, pop back into Coda. And let's just come down to here and we'll name this header spacer, SPC. I am not going to remember that, but background URL images slash um, header underscore spacer underscore spacer dot png and it's going to be repeat x zero zero and the width is 960 pixels and let's see what the height is seven pixels okay so height seven pixels Close that up and publish all. Pop into here and we forgot to add it to the header. Why didn't you remind me? All right, so go into header and this is so stupid that I did it this way, but um, we'll live with it. Div ID equals header space. Save, upload and refresh. Okay, there you go. So uh, I'm just going to end it here because it's getting a little long. Next time we are going to finish up this header section. Uh, we'll throw in the logo. Uh, where's this preview at? We're going to throw in the logo uh, and do the navigation. This part right here, these swapping images, I'm planning on doing that probably last because I'm not really sure how to do it. So it should be a fun learning experience. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.